First and foremost, we are very pleased to hear about your performance on the ADAPT. May we ask what your overall score was along with the individual section scores? I scored a overall of 590 and I scored 600 in both clinical science and biomedical sciences. And I scored around 540 in the biostatistics section. Oh, that's wonderful. EDAT is well known for its level of difficulty. Could you share which sections or topics you found most challenging during your preparation? I believe that I found the uh, biostatistics and the evidence-based dentistry section as a very, very challenging section uh, because it was Oh, everything was new for me. All the terminologies were new. I've never studied this subject ever before. It was just very fresh for me. <clears throat> Not only this, but I also used to find clinical section. I felt that it was the it was a bit tricky for me. But through practice and questions and clearing my concepts and gaining more knowledge, I got better at these sections. Wonderful. The section comprises about one third of the exams total. And it's a very important section. Yes, it is challenging, but I believe that reading through, reading and making sure that you have good concepts can really help you get better. Not only this, but I think that practicing a lot of questions in this section helps you helps you find out what type of questions are asked, where how to implement that those concepts will that. What was your experience with the biostatistics section of the exam? Many students find this newer topic intimidating. Your insights would be greatly appreciated. Yes, like most of the students, I also found this section very challenging. It comprises about one third of the exam score. And I how I studied for this topic was I used to read about the concepts, get used to the terminologies like what sensitivity, what specificity, and how are they implemented in data analysis and evidence-based industry, how everything is correlated and how the questions are framed. Trying to find out how the question is framed and what exactly is asked, it can only come through practice. I know it's very, very dull subject, but I made sure that I used to practice this subject daily for about one and a half hour because I I used to have hard time studying the subject at a stretch. I made sure that I studied these subjects every day, dedicated my days one hour, maybe one and a half hour for for every day towards this. That's how I got better at this this section. Thank you. Could you tell us about your experience with the clinical section? Did you find it particularly challenging? Also, were there any research-based questions included? So clinical section, I believe that having a strong foundational knowledge in oral pathology and knowing your disease as well can really help you in this section. Knowing the syndromes well and the oral manifestations can really help you solve the questions. For example, knowing what level rises in a specific disease can help you answer that question very easily. Not only this, but I also believe that having a good knowledge about the radiographs, the radiographic errors, how to fix those errors, how to interpret radiographs when you get a case-based questions, it it plays an important role. The trick here is how fast you can interpret this. Yes, everybody can interpret the radiograph, but the faster, the sooner your eyes catches those things, the sooner you're able to tackle the question, the sooner you're able to go to the next question, and then you don't waste a lot of time just over this one question. Along with this, I also felt that having a good memorization for the periodontal classification, classification for the hypertension and stuff like that, it really helps you. These are some things that, you know, it's up to you. When you get better at these things, you can solve the questions in, in, at a faster pace. Having clear concepts can help you go to the right answer in the first attempt. So making sure that we are thorough with our base knowledge where, you know, we are well-versed with the syndromes, with the diseases, with the drugs can help us fast questions, solve questions at at a fast pace. Yes. 
What was your experience with the biomedical subject section? It's often considered a long forgotten area for many students. Do you feel you handled it well on the exam? Well, for me, the biomedical section is the is the most scoring section one could ever, everybody would feel that way when they would give the test. The sections are very straightforward. The, the point here is how good you are at memorizing this section mm -hmm. because the section is all about, you know, knowing the enzymes well, knowing all of those rate limiting steps well, what happens at what step, which cycle takes place you know, uh, well, I believe it. one has to be, yes, it does involve a lot of memorization, but uh, I believe I found the biomedical section as the easiest section of all. The I concentrated more, mostly on certain topics, dental anatomy, dental occlusion, being well-versed with tooth morphology, being well-versed with the intercuspation and occlusion, can, it really helped me tackle some of the questions very easily. Not only this, but I also made sure that I had good theory, theoretical knowledge on, you know, muscles of mastication, their insertions, their origins. Not only this, but trigeminal nerve, the facial nerve, anything that was involved in the head neck region, I made sure that I am thorough with these things so that I see any question, I am, I'm okay, I'm confident with my answer. Uh, in case of physiology, I made sure that I know my concepts well. Again, making sure that you have strong concepts, it helped me answer the questions easily and in a more confident way rather than getting confused okay okay was it was it this no was it that which disease had that no so making our foundation strong revising the things again and again again and again it helps you clear your own concepts i also felt that biochemistry was very 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 dry for me but again for dry subjects what I used to do is I used to study them, you know, every day for for a week. That's how I used to get done with those subjects. But the topics in the dental anatomy are is everything very easy and it's in your hand and I believe it's doable. Wonderful. Did you feel there was enough time to complete all the questions during the exam? Also, were you given any breaks in between sections? Yes, you do get a 15 minutes break between each section. I started with the, my exam started with the biomedical section first, followed by clinical, and the last section was biostatistics. So initially, my brain was very fresh. I was, I was, yes, uh, nervous, but then I, when I, my exam started, I was very, very focused. My biomedical section went good, great. I would say I had about half an hour left in my hand and I reviewed all of my questions again. I There were very less questions that I had flagged because, you know, I had my concepts very thorough. And clinical section, yes, it was time consuming. Like I said, I was taking time to read the radiographs to, you know, to understand a case, to understand, okay, okay, I need to understand what they are asking because the options were confusing. So I. I was able to do the clinical section in time, yes, but unfortunately, I did not have enough time to review all of my questions. And by the time I reached to the biostatistics section, I my brain got tired, maybe, I don't know. The questions were very long. It, it was taking me a lot of time to understand what's asked in the question and I felt that my speed was very slow in the last section. And I felt that if I would have more time for biostatistics, maybe I, I could have done better. Yeah. Were there any questions in the biostatistics section that required long or complex calculations? I believe that they were not interested in making, the questions were not focused on long calculations no they were more conceptualized they want you to find out what's being asked well what are they referring to what's meant by linear coefficient so the, the questions are framed in such way that you know they want you to know what's being asked are they asking the odds ratio are they referring to sensitivity specificity one important topic which i felt in biostatistics 
text section was null hypothesis. I having a good knowledge on this, I I felt it really helped me tackle those situations. Yes, the, again, data interpretation was another section which I which I felt was very important. How to interpret the data. Mm -hmm. And the questions are long. The options are long. It takes time for everything to sink in. That's what was the reason for me to be slow in this section. But I feel that one can overcome this obstacle by solving more questions.